this is part three of my presentation on the ARDL bounds testing approach to co-integration and I'm going to talk about lag selection and unit root tests and um, and so the key question here before we begin is what's the optimal lag that we, we should use in the um, analysis and for that matter what's the uh, order of integration of each of the series basically are the series stationary or not. To uh, carry this analysis I'm going to use these three variables the log of tourism arrivals for the US and the log of VIX. VIX is the CBOE, the Chicago Broad Options Exchange Volatility Index and the log of BXM which is um, the CBOE buy right index. And so with these three variables this is how my ARDL bounds testing model is going to look the short term component comprising not only the target variable but also the other two independent variables and the long run components which would include the um, lag values of each of the three variables y and x1 and x2 and the phi coefficients are going to be the long run model coefficients that we're going to be performing bounds test on so with that, there's going to be three co-integrating equations to examine right here, one for each of the uh, variables. All right, so let's go to eViews real quick. This here is eViews 10. And so what we're going to do for lag selection, we're going to go to quick and come down here to estimate var and tie the names of the three variables right here in this box, lar, lbxm, and LVIX and we're done. We click OK and on this VR output we're gonna go to um, view and on the view we're gonna go down here to lag structure and hover your cursor right here and move it to the right to lag length criteria and we can just type in three. I'm using monthly data so I'm gonna just start with three and do three there and actually right here all the um, selection criteria tell me to use one lot for all the variables so that's it really now separately we can go ahead and do a test for uh, unit roots and to do so I'm gonna click on each of the variables one after the other and I'm just gonna do two so let's do lar first of all the log of tourism arrivals double click it and right here we're gonna go to view and then unit roots tests go to standard unit root test and you can just leave everything as is starting with level and uh, I've selected intercept only and so it's up to you depending on how your series uh, looks to choose whichever one you want here some some uh, researchers would ch would try each of these in turns when they are not totally sure to see if there are consistent if there's a consistency in the, in the results so go ahead and click OK and as you can see at level the log of tourism arrivals is non stationary as you can see so let's see if it's stationary after first differencing so go back to view and go to unit root tests and click on standard unit root and this time choose first difference and OK and voila it is stationary at first difference at the 5% level so how about let's try one more LVIX the log of uh, volatility index double click it and then here view and go down to unit root tests and go to standard unit root tests and let's start with level first okay and you can see what's going on here it is stationary at level no wonder we want to use ARDL. Alright, so all of these things I've summarized right here in my PowerPoint output so you can see things much better. And right here is the uh, command for lag selection in red, and that's the output. And this is the VAR output, and this is the, um, the command to eventually obtain what you see right here, which is um, the uh, the lag selection um, that's picked by um, the lag structure 
picked by each of the criteria right here, summarized down here. Now though, test for station already, to be honest with you, outside of the need to be sure that none of the variables is I2 or higher, ARDL co-integration approach, as I write out here clearly, does not require pretests for unit roots. And this is because it's quite okay to utilize the mix of I0 and I1 variables. Nevertheless, to be to convince yourself that this is the route to go, you can go ahead and do what we just did, which is go ahead and uh, be sure that none of the variables is I2. Uh, and uh, in our case, we found that for LAR, it's non-stationary at level, but at first difference, it is stationary. For LBXM, it is non-stationary at level, stationary at first difference. So both uh, LAR and BXM are I1 variables. Now though, the third variable L VIX right here is stationary at level. And it is this outcome that necessitates the use of ARDL bounds test instead of, for example, the Johansson test of co-integration. All right, that's it.